Bouncy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm Patrick. You've just caught me going through this hat box here. Hmm. I wonder if Kel left this here as a clue. I wonder what else I could be. Ah, oh, look at this. I wonder what kind of person would wear this hat. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Oh. I feel like a Duke of some kind. Yes, I think I'll be the Grand Old Duke of York. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Wow, that was fun. I wonder what else we've got here in our hat box. Oh, have a look at this hat. Oh, do you know what kind of hat this is? It's a chef's hat. A chef is someone who's a really good cook who looks after kitchens and restaurants. Hmm, it looks a little bit like a big pie, doesn't it? Mm, if I was a chef, I would love to bake pies but I would also love to eat spaghetti. Come on, let's cook some spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, it's the only one. It is my favorite, yum, 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 yum. Spaghetti, spaghetti, it's the only one. Slippery spaghetti in my thumb. La 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 Ooh, I wonder who would wear this hat. Mm. Hey, Liam. Hey, Patrick. Oh. Hello, I'm Kel. What are you two doing? Kel, I was just going through this hat box here. Did you leave this here as a clue? Oh, no, I didn't. But uh, these hats here have given me a spectacular idea. Excuse me for a minute, boys. Oh, my pie shape. Oh, 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 oh,
simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your wear. My pies. Oh, hello, young man. On your way to the fair, are you? Yes, yes, I am. Um, is it very far? Oh, not far now. You must be very hungry on your long journey. Oh, well, actually, I am hungry. Um, what are you selling? Well, my pies, of course. Magpies? This is a magpie. You can tell by its black and white feathers. Magpies nest in trees. They like to look for insects in the grass. Look out, they're swooping. Must be breeding season. Lucky the postwoman had a helmet on. Not magpies, ma pies. Pies that you can eat. Ugh, you can't eat a magpie. Ugh. But what you should do is be very, very careful in nesting season because magpies protect their nests by swooping and diving down on people that walk past. So, I use one of these. It's just a simple ice cream container with a couple of eyes drawn on it. Oh. Seems to keep the magpies away and, well, I think it's quite fetching when you wear it on your head. Oh, well, thank you for your advice. <laughs> anyway, I'm a pie man. I make and sell pies that you can eat. I make meat pies, vegetable pies, Ooh. even apple pies. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, OK, yes. so you're a pie man and these are your wares. Yes! Hang on. I don't wear those pies. Oh, no, no, no. Wares is another word for things that you sell. Actually, your wares, or your pies, they look familiar to me. Really? Who else is selling my pies? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I think Kel and Cassie might have put a pie on today's puzzle. Cassie, the puzzle, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you see the piece I mean? Yes, that shape there looks like a pie. A piece of our picture, it's time to show. That's one piece down and three to go. Ooh, look, lots and lots of hot pies. Oh, well, the first piece of the puzzle was one of my beautiful pies. How about that? Kel must have worked very hard on this puzzle. Oh, well, she did. She worked very, very hard and very noisily, too. You should have heard it. There was so much banging. You know, if it was me, I just would have kept it simple. Simple? Is that what the S on your hat stands for? Oh, um, I don't know what it stands for. Hmm. Well, anyway, would you like one of my pies? Oh, yes, yes, please. Yes. Oh, okay. What kind would you like? Um, what um, kind? Um, what um, kind? Um, the apple, please. Oh, excellent. Well, first, show me your penny. Um, um, oh, oh, here she is now. Um, are you off to see some of our friends, Penny? Oh, well, I think I might come and talk to some puzzle players. I'll be back for that pie, though. <sighs> that wasn't the penny I was thinking of. <laughs> Can you tell me what money is? Money is because if you want to get a dollar from the shopping centre, because if you want to go shopping centre, because if you don't have any 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 food or um soup, because you had to get some from the shopping centre. Can you tell me what money looks like? Like gold and like um, gold stuff. Does it come in any other colours? Um, like silver. Now, can you tell me where money comes from? Um, the piggy bank. Do you have a piggy bank? Yes. And is that where you keep all your money? Yeah. 
I got some money in it. And what are you going to spend that money on, do you think? Well, I can go to shops and buy food. And I can buy some milk and drink. Well, what would you buy with money? You can buy noodles or spaghetti or cheese or salad or cucumber or that's it if you want to buy. Can you tell me what your piggy bank looks like? It, um, it has a pig on it and you put money in. What does your purse look like? Um, it looks like a, a poodle on my purse. Can you tell me where money comes from? In the money box and in in a coin in a treasure box. If you want to find a treasure box somewhere, you can buy treasure and put it out home. Then you can get toys in, in there and bracelets every year like then you can open up. Then you can win and you can get a dollar with um, a ribbon. This is my money box or piggy bank. Now I'm trying to save up to buy something special. Whenever I get money for my birthday or another special occasion like that, I put my money in my piggy bank here. Now I'm trying to save up to buy a nice present for my mum and I've been saving for a while now. So, would you like to see how much money I've saved? Come on, let's have a look at what I've got here. Oh, all the money that I've saved. How many coins can you see? Can you count them with me? I like to count. Every day I like to count. In every way I like to count. Any amount would you like to count with me? All right, there's one and two and three and four. Five, six, seven and eight. And nine and ten. You just counted to ten. Well done. There's one and two and three and four. Five, six, seven and eight. And nine and ten. You just counted to ten. Wow, ten coins. I'm doing pretty well, aren't I? Well, I better put this money away because it's not very good to play with real money. So, before I do that, I'm going to make an impression of my coins here so then I can play with my play money. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a coin and push it through my orange coloured dough here. And I'm just going to peel it off my coin like that. See, can you see the shape it's made there? It's roundish, a bit like my coin. Well, there's one. I think I'll make some more now. I'll push another one through. And then peeling it off. And another one. There we go. One more, I think, should do it. Pushing it through. There we go. Four pretend coins there. Well, now I can put my real coins away and I'll play with these ones instead into the piggy bank. Did you know that money is made out of different things? Now, money used to be made out of copper, which is a brownie ready metal, like this coin here. It's a copper coin. And money can also come in silver and gold, and it can be made in dollar notes as well. Now, notes can be either paper or plastic, and this one here is plastic. Oh, Cassie, do you have something else to show us? Polymer money was invented in Australia. It is made of this special paper and plastic. It's a big secret on how the paper and plastic are made. These are the machines that help make the note money. These wheels print the special numbers on the notes. No two notes have the same numbers. These machines put the background colours on the notes. These are going on the $50 notes. The 
drawings go on next? On note, the drawings are usually of important people, buildings and Australian animals. The notes are just about ready. The notes are checked to make sure that everything is right. Said the pie and nun to Simon, show me first your penny. Said simple Simon to the pie man, indeed I have not any. Oh, I wonder when that young man is going to get back with that penny. Thanks, Penny. Uh, hi, I'm back. Excellent. So, do you have a penny for your pie? Penny for pie? No, 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 I'd never swap Penny for a pie. I mean, she's a very important part of the Puzzle Play team. Well, she's a good friend of ours and she no, takes no, us no, to no, see no, all no, our no, other friends. No. And... I don't mean that kind of penny. I meant Penny, a coin that people used to use a long time ago. Perhaps your grandparents used pennies. Oh, well, I don't have a penny, but um, I think I've seen one. Huh? Where is it? Oh, well, on the puzzle, I think. Um, Cassie, the puzzle, please. You mean that shape there? Yes, that shape could be a penny. I think it is. Well done, team. That's puzzle piece two. Here's another piece of the picture for you. Ooh, some old coins. Pennies. And look, that looks like a young boy. Hmm, and I think he's holding a penny too. Very good. We've solved the second piece of the puzzle. So the first piece was a pie, and the second piece was a penny, and not of the puzzle bus kind. Well, Simon, if you do not have a penny, you may not have a pie. It's simple, Simon. Mm, I understand. I'll simply go to the fair. Oh, very good then. Pies, my pies, my pies, pies for sale. Simon says jump around in a circle. We're playing a game called Simon Says. Simon Says Stop. Simon Says Hat Your Head. Stop. Simon Says Pat Your Shoulders. Simon Says Pat Your Knees. Touch Your Foot. <laughs> You're gone! <laughs> Simon says stand up straight. Simon says walk on the spot. Simon says run on the spot. Simon says stop. Run on the spot. You're gone. <laughs> you're gone. Yay! And you're gone as well, Lily. Really. <laughs> Simon says... Uh, stop. Simon says run around in circles. Stop. Simon says hop. Oh, great. I'm cool. <laughs> Simple Simon went surfishing for to catch a whale. But all the water he had got was in his mother's pail. <coughs> roll up! Roll up! Welcome to the greatest puzzle play fair in all the world. We have stalls and prizes and <gasps> many great things and rides too. Roll up, people! Roll up! Oh, oh I'm finally there. here. And Oh, I'm so hungry. You see, I met this pie man along the way, and when I asked to taste his wares, well, he told me to show him my penny. Not you, Penny. I'm talking about the old coin, which is called a penny. Honestly, Penny, we're not talking about you. We're talking about the old coin, which is called a penny. Anyway, I didn't have a penny, so I couldn't eat any of his pies. Oh, well, I see there, young man. Well, uh, if you catch a whale from my pail, I will give you a penny. Oh, really? Well... Um, I don't think it's a good idea to catch whales. Um, I think it's just nice to watch them. Oh, I do agree, but these are only paper whales in my pail. Pail? Pail. 
Oh, do you think I look pale, a bit white in the face? Well, I did run here, so I'm, I might be a bit pale, but no, I'm not no, really no, pale no, no, white. No, 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 This here is a pail. A pail is another word for a bucket. So if you oh. catch a paper whale from my pail here, I will give you a penny. Oh. Uh, not you, Penny. One of these pennies here. Oh, goody. All right. All right, well, good luck then, young chap. Okay. Hmm. I think my mum might have a bucket or a pail just like this one. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can, I can collect grime water in a bucket. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can collect grime. I can do it. I can do it. I can let grain water in a bucket. Simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. He pricked his fingers very much, which made poor Simon whistle. Hello there, young man. How are you going with your uh, simple task of catching a whale? Well, I've caught one. Oh. And I think I know what the next piece of the puzzle is. No. It's this. A whale? Oh, no, no, no. The fair. Oh, I think you might be right, young son. Let's have a look, shall we? Cassie, the puzzle, please. Yes. Look, the third piece is a fair. You're flying through now. What could it be? Time to see what's under puzzle piece three. Ah, uh, yes, I can see a Ferris wheel and a merry-go-round. Ooh, and there's some fairy floss and lollipops. Oh. Oh, well done, young chap. Well, here's a penny for winning the game. Oh, and, uh, you. would you like some more, possibly? Mm. Yes, please. Oh, you would? All right, then. Well, see if you can pick a plum from this thistle here. Oh, well, what's a thistle? Oh, a thistle is a prickly type of plant, so be very careful. Oh. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. That looks a bit dangerous. I don't think I should be playing with prickly plants. I don't think I will play this game. No, all right then. Mm. Come and play this game, young man. It's quite simple. Oh. Oh. He went for water in a sea, but soon it all fell through. And now for simple Simon bids you all adieu. Young man, see if you can catch some water with this sieve. Oh, but a sieve is for draining or sifting things like flour. It's got holes in it so things pass straight through. How do you expect me to catch water in it? It's a game, all right? Well, I don't think I will play this game, and I think this fair is a little bit silly, so I will say adieu. Oh, what did you say? Oh, adieu. It's another word for saying goodbye or farewell. Adieu. <gasps> Young man, before you go, that letter on your hat looks familiar. Oh, you mean the letter S? Yes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That your sieve game is senseless and no one would ever win? No. That the last piece of today's puzzle is a letter. Oh, of course. <laughs> Almost there now, time to see what today's letter will be. The letter S. The sun. A slithering snake. Oh, and a sock. The letter S. Well, I think we should take a look and see what's under the fourth piece of the puzzle. What do you think, Patrick? There you go. Okay. Oh, I'm not Patrick. Oh. I'm the pie man. Uh, I mean, the fair man or the senseless sieve man. Oh, look, why don't I just be a puzzle player? I think you're right about that fourth piece of the puzzle. Let's see it, Cassie. The final piece for all to see. Can you guess what today's puzzle could be? There, the last piece of the puzzle. Ah, now we can see the rest of the pie man. The letter S, the last piece of our puzzle. That's right, and this is how you sign the letter S in sign language. Just like this, Liam. That's it, well done, the letter S. Wow, so guys, you've solved all four pieces of the puzzle. Yes, but I don't know what it all means. Oh, well, let me sing you a song. That might help. 
simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your wares. Remember Patrick, you were the pie man. That's right. Said the pieman unto Simon, show me first your penny. Said simple Simon to the pieman, indeed I have not any. And you wanted a penny for a pie. I did. Simple Simon went a fishing for to catch a whale. But all the water he had got was in his mother's pail. Yes, and you wanted me to catch a whale in a pail. Simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. He pricked his fingers very much, which made poor Simon whistle. Yes, and you had the silly game with the thistle that made me whistle. He went for water in a sieve, but soon it all fell through. And now poor Simple Simon bids you all adieu. That's right. Well, I said adieu to you, Patrick. And that's another word for saying farewell or goodbye. Now, Cal, what was the name of that song? Oh, it's a nursery rhyme called Simple Simon. Well, that was all about my day, and uh, what a day I've had. Now, Cal, this S on my hat, well, I'm Simon, aren't I? Ah, very good, Liam. Well, I think it's about time that we solve this puzzle! First, we had the pie man. I was the pie man selling my wares of pies. And then we talked a lot about pennies. <laughs> Not you, Penny, the coin pennies. And then I went to the fair, the third piece of the puzzle. And finally, I had the letter S for Simon. Well, I've had quite a day being Simon, but it wasn't very simple. But it was fun. Oh, it was very fun, and I learnt some new words. Where's the different things that people sell. That's right, and a pail is another word for a bucket, and... A sieve is a sifter or a strainer. You might have one in your kitchen at home. And a thistle is a very prickly plant that you shouldn't touch. Mm. Oh, and a penny. <laughs> Not, Not you, penny. penny. A penny is a type of old coin. Well, what do you say, guys? Well, I think today's puzzle is me. Am I right, Kel? <laughs> you are, Liam. Oh, or should I say Simon? Mm. Simple Simon. Today's, today's puzzle, puzzle is... Simple Simon. Puzzle. 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 Play! We solved the puzzle! Oh, thank you! Hey guys, why don't we cook? Oh, okay, spaghetti! Spaghetti! Oh, spaghetti! Oh, it's all like the clowns at the fair! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Congratulations to everyone! Today's puzzle was so much fun! Yes, thank you for your help, Patrick. You made a very good pie, man. Yes, and I'd still like a pie, Patrick. Mm. Oh, yes, but Liam, we should probably say goodbye first. Good idea. It's time for us to go, but we'll see you on our next show. Thank you to those magpies. Thank you for showing us how money is made. Thanks, Penny. <laughs> And thank you, Cassie. Bye-bye. But most importantly, a big thanks to you for another great puzzle play. We couldn't have solved it without all your help. You did an excellent job. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. The bear's in the air. Now roll like a bear. Jump all around. Step your feet on the ground. Step, step. It's a cool way to dance every day. We all went together. The puzzle play way. Solve the puzzle! You solve the puzzle! See you later! Thank you, see you later! Does anyone want a pie? Oh, excuse me, please! <laughs>